Good morning. Let's tell you love here. I just want to let you know Satan is just trying to distract you. Don't let that demon distract you. Tell him when he knock at your door, when Satan knock at your door. Good morning. Good morning. Say, Jesus, will you answer that for me? Jesus, will you answer that for me? That's what I want you to do. To have Jesus to answer the door when the devil knock at it. Every time he knocks, say, Jesus, will you answer? He gonna get tired of Jesus coming to the door. Then he eventually leave you alone. Do you feel what I'm saying? Keep your eyes on Jesus. God says don't complain. When you complain, all you're doing is giving leeway for the devil to come in. Those spirits, spirit of depression, spirit of doubt, spirit of confusion. But if you stay praising the Lord, if you're always in praise of the Lord, and reading the word and filling your mind with the word. Say that. Let me tell y'all, when I'm at work, I got my earpiece in. I'm reading the Bible. I'm going to listen to some content about the Lord. So he can't have no way to come in. God said, rejoice, praise me in the morning. For joy comes in the morning. There's new mercies every day. New mercies every day. That means he got something new. You may cry last night, but you, God can, something can happen in six hours. I remember when I was blessed with a lot of money. I didn't know, but remember God, so God removes your enemies before he blesses you too. And I didn't know that until I just got that revelation this time. He removes your enemies before he blesses you. You know why? Because they are not part of that blessing. So the people that was around me, they could say, oh, she got money and she left me. I spent it all because I did drugs and all that. So <laughs> it's gone now, y'all. But I want to tell you, money does not make you happy. I'm not. A lot of people are stressed out because of money. Let me tell you something. Since I seek the kingdom and its righteousness first, and I ask the Lord to show me how to manage my money, see, a lot of it be spirits that's taking your money, spiritual spouses. It'll, it'll take your money too. Read up on it. Uh, that's about having sex without, without marriage. And that's how those spirit demons come in, through sin. Stop sinning. Turn from sin. God says, if my people will confess with their mouth their sin and humble themselves, then I will forgive them. Open up your mouth and say, Father God, I slept with these this amount of people. Forgive me, Father God. I've been arrogant. Forgive me, Father God. I've been having pride. Forgive me. He wants you to confess with thy tongue. He know what you need. He know what you want. He know what you you uh, uh, see and you committed. But he wants you to lose your pride. So you can't have pride in God, too. So remember. Every little trick of the devil, he's trying to trick you. Don't say this headache is killing me. Your words are powerful. You don't want your head be the reason you kill, you you dead. It's serious. Think it, count it out strange. People think I'll be playing like, oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, keep on thinking that. God said, let there be light and there was light. Quit saying, watch what you say. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Watch what you say. God could not express this to me enough. So watch what you say, God. I gotta go. I love you guys. Remember, look. Who is it? Jesus. When the devil come knocking with your family members, remember, you will be alone. It's okay to be alone. Remember, your family gonna come against you. In the Bible, it says, um, you're not even, a prophet is not even um, honored in his own hometown. Not even by family or relatives. Child of God, you are chosen. He using you to break that curse. He using you to uh, for the gen break the generation curse. God is using you in the family. Yes, you, that drug out of that, that nothing and nobody, the one that everybody threw in the back. You, yes, you, I'm talking to you. He using you. You're beautiful inside and out. Stand and know who you are. Know that you're a king and a queen in the kingdom of heaven. You are royal priesthood. You better start walking with your head down like you ain't nobody. Now, if you ain't got Jesus, you're nobody. But if you got the Lord, you are somebody. Quit letting people tell you who you are. You better know who you are in Christ. Ask God who you are. I love you guys. I got to go. Like I said, when the devil knock at your door, send Jesus to answer it every time. Knock him down with the word of God. That's what the, uh, Jesus did to uh Saying every time he tempted him, he hit him with scripture and the word of God. Hit him with it. Come on now. God got you. You are victorious. You already, he's been defeated. He's just trying to take many people with him. See, the hell was made for, hell was made for Satan and the fallen angels. But see, people, now there's going to be a lot of your family members. I'm just saying, mine too, that it's going to go down. They're going down. <laughs>
they're going down. I'm not laughing at that. I'm, I'm bending down. Here, but they're gonna, they're not gonna make it, family. And God already said that. That He's gonna wipe away those tears. Will He not? What we doing, family? Put it in the comments. We sending Jesus to answer the door. Okay. Love you. Like this video. Like this video. Subscribe to the family right now. Jesus loves you, and so do I. Keep your eyes on Jesus.